welcome. Gracie and I are here at the west fork of the Little Colorado River. We're going to be backpacking and fishing downriver for Apache trout. We have provisions for four days and we're so glad you've come along. We started this hike at about 9,200 feet above sea level. This is a fish barrier. This makes it so that the fish cannot go upstream from here. Fish barrier too. There she goes, sitting in the water, laying down in the water. Laying down, getting a drink. Boy, Grace, this looks like a good spot right here in the shade. Put our tent right there. Okay, we're gonna make this car camp. Our camp is 8,700 feet above sea level. This is what Gracie and I did today. We started our backpacking and fishing trip here at the Sheep's Crossing Bridge. We backpacked down along the West Fork of the Little Colorado River down to this confluence of this spring here and then we are camping right in this area here. It was a total of 3.6 miles and 225 feet of elevation gain. Today is drying to a close. Tomorrow I'll do the fishing. So I'll see you tomorrow. Good night. Time to go fishing. Little tiny brown. This little brown, a little bigger than the last one. On a worm. This is the end of fishing for the day. I've fished pretty much all day. This is a tough place to fish. I would only recommend it if you're really, really good at stream fishing. I think I ended up catching three or four. I probably had about 15 bites, but I couldn't get them. They're, they're really tiny. Like five bull elk right there. Came almost into our camp. Coming down to get a drink. The big elk is not happy that we're here. The reason the elk are upset is because our tent is in their bedding area. When I saw this campsite, I could actually see where they'd laid down. The sun's behind the mountain. I just gotta get my dinner and then we're gonna go to bed. Good night. We just saw the five elk again this morning. And they were on the opposite mountain. They decided to take an alternate route down to the river to get a drink and to sleep. And Gracie heard them all night. She didn't hardly move. She will not come out of the tent. What we're gonna do today is we're gonna hike up the river and find a new camp and do some more fishing. the 
front foot of a bear. Not a real big one, medium size. And down here I got a drink. Gracie, this looks like a nice spot for our tent right here. We're gonna make this camp number two. It's a dog's life. I put up the camp and she just relaxes. Couldn't get any better than that. What do you think, Grace? You got it pretty good, huh? This is what we've done today. We packed up our camp here, started our backpacking down here across the West Fork of the Little Colorado, came up river here past the first fish dam, and continued our hike up here past the second fish dam, then continued forward up to this spot right here, and this is where our camp is right now, and we're at 9,000 feet. It was a one and three quarter mile hike and a 350 foot elevation gain. I'm gonna quickly review one of my gear items. It's these, the La Sportiva X3 rock climbing approach shoe, which I use for backpacking. And the reason I got these is because I usually wear a waterproof boot and you take those into the water and they will take forever to dry out. So these are not waterproof, they're breathable, and eventually your foot would dry out if you just kept hiking in these. And they are really, really good once they're wet. My foot doesn't slosh around in them. I really like the soles because they are a really soft rubber. So they grip the rocks on the trail really good. And then they also grip the rocks in the water really good. These shoes weigh about 1.6 pounds. I've had them for about 50 miles on the trail and they've performed excellent. One of the things I do supplement them with though, is I take out the original insole and I put in my super feet which makes these an exceptional backpacking shoe. Not very long, but a big, fat, chunky Apache trout. Caught it on a millworm. Another nice Apache. On a millworm. Gracie and I are back from fishing. Caught two Apache trout. And we're gonna have those for dinner tonight. Tonight is Trout Catch and Cook. I'm gonna have these fish in Zatarans, Blackening and Flour. So we're gonna cook it in the jet boil. This is clarified butter and this is olive oil. Just put it in this container because the other one leaked. So it goes the olive oil. And the D. What's special about tonight's kitchen cook is that Gracie gets some. These don't have any breading on them. Here's Gracie's fish for the dinner. Each fish. And you can't see her eat it, but she's enjoying it. She gulped that down. Here goes my trout. And there's a piece of trout with the blackening and the flour on it. Okay, mine's finished. There they are. Wonderful. The ultimate test.
Mmm. Excellent. There was one problem with that catch and cook fish dinner. It wasn't enough. And Gracie says the same thing. I had a really nice day today. So did Gracie. As I set up the camp today, she just laid around, rested, and then we went fishing this afternoon, and as you saw the results of that. But the day comes to a close. Good night. Good morning. Uh, today's the fourth day. It's our last day, and Gracie and I are on the trail. We got about 1.75 miles to the trailhead. Gracie and I are about 300 yards from the trailhead. I thought I would stop and give you some highlights of our backpacking fishing trip. Today's backpack hike was about two miles and about 300 feet of elevation gain. The Apache Site Greaves National Forest is absolutely gorgeous. It's one of my favorites of all time. I loved backpacking along the river. The river was beautiful, many, many places. And our second campsite was absolutely picture perfect underneath the boughs of a pine tree. And we almost had shade the whole day long. Now, as far as the fishing is concerned, that second brown trout that I caught had beautiful red dots kind of straight across. When we came up and I caught those two Apache, they were just stuffed full of insects and bugs uh, when I cleaned them. And they were beautiful fish. And where I caught that first Apache was epic fishing hole. And I thought that the fish dams were kind of cool. As far as animal life, the coolest part of this trip was the five bull elk that came into our camp. Just feel bad that I didn't get the shot of how close they were. The big bull elk that was leading the pack, he was probably 20 yards from me. He didn't even see me and then Gracie barked. And then he looked up and it took him about 10 seconds to figure out what was going on. And it's always good to have my companion, Gracie. She is just as true as true can be. This adventure is all wrapped up. So, until next time.